this summit is about uh, bringing all the communities together, all those First Nations communities that are dealing with uh, liquefied natural gas uh, development. And really we need an informed decision for all First Nations that are dealing with LNG. And we need to know uh, all the impacts that are happening on our respective territories. And as First Nations, I, I think that we can only make that informed decision is um, when we know what are all the effects, what, what it's all encompassing with these uh, developments. That, that's what this is all about. And to also come as, together as a collective to deal with these issues. First Nation communities are realizing that they need to come together and speak um, with a common voice, not, um, not surrendering their autonomy, but coming together so that they're in a position that they know that they're all being treated fairly. We have a number of uh, questions regarding the environmental issues, the financial compensation and the long-term planning for LNG through our community. Well, I think that there's three key areas that Wet'suwet'en First Nations is, is uh, interested in and that's meaningful consultation and accommodation, um, making sure that our environment is protected and has high standards. And the third is to make sure that we get accommodation that's proportionate to the size of the project. A lot of it is more the procurement portion of it, is what, what are we going to get out of it? Uh, how can we train, train our people? And uh, jobs is very important in the north here. For the past two days, we've had um, information from industry, information from government, and information, general information from other sources. Well, now that we have a bigger picture, we can go home and discuss it amongst ourselves. Well, I think communication is really important. I think that we need to be able to take this information from here, bring it back to our community members so that they can help us make an informed decision whether to move this project forward in our territory. You know, this is a decision that's not only going to be for us today, but it's going to be long implications uh, beyond my generation. We'll be long gone and these pipelines will still be here. So we got to get the decision right the first time.